Hello and welcome to my video. I'm going to be going over medical assistance in dying uh, and this is specifically for Canadians. Um, this is a video that I have been contemplating doing for quite some time um, because as a nurse I have noticed that a lot of people aren't aware of their options. Um, most people are offered palliative care and that's what they do. Um, some of my clients have said to me like I wish this was available um, and then that's where I come in and I say well it is. It's just not something that we normally bring up or talk about as there is certain criteria and it has to be 100% their decision. So I would like to put it out there on the internet because if anybody is watching or um, is doing this search to find medical assistance in dying um, or made service for short, they're looking for a reason. So I'm going to be going over who's eligible, the process, and how to make the request for services. In June 2016, the Parliament of Canada passed federal legislation that allows eligible Canadians um, to request medical assistance in dying. In order to be eligible for medical assistance in dying, you must meet all of the following criteria. So you must be eligible for health services funded by the federal government, provincial or territory, um, generally, visitors to Canada are not eligible for medically assistance in death. Um, you must be 18 years or older and medically competent. So this means that you can make your own medical decisions. You must have a grievous and irremediable medical condition. I'll speak about that in our next slide. You must make a voluntary request for maid service that is not a result of outside pressure or influence. And lastly, you must give informed consent to receive maid. To be considered as having a grievous and irremediable medical condition, you must meet all of the following criteria. So you must have a serious illness, disease, or disability uh, this excludes mental illness until March 17th, 2023. That's when um, people with mental illnesses will be eligible for this. Um, be in an advanced state of decline that cannot be reversed. Experience unbearable physical or mental suffering from your illness, disease, or disability or a state of decline that cannot be relieved under conditions that you consider acceptable. Um, so you don't have to have a fatal or terminal uh, condition to be eligible for um, medical assistance in dying. To be eligible, you must provide informed consent to your practitioner. This means you have consented or given permission to maid after you've received all the information to make your decision. This includes your medical diagnosis, available forms of treatment, available options to relieve suffering. This includes palliative care. And you must be able to give informed consent on two occasions. So the first one is at the time of your request. And the second is immediately before um, the maid is provided. You can withdraw your request at any time and withdraw your consent at any time in any manner. There are two types of medical assistance in dying available to Canadians. They each include a physician or a nurse practitioner who, um, one, directly administers a substance that causes death, such as an injection of a drug, or provides or prescribes a drug to the eligible person for them to take themselves. Many of the drugs commonly used for this procedure are already marketed in Canada and prescribed at much lower doses. They include medications for nausea, pain control, and anesthesia. To make the request in Canada, you're going to go to dyingwithdignity.ca slash navigating a request. Um, you can see that at the bottom of the screen and I will also have it in the description below. Um, but once you get here, you can scroll down 
and it says jump to. So then you can click your province or territory. I'm from Ontario, so I would click Ontario. And here you can find the phone number that you would call to make your request. After the initial request has been made, you'll be in touch with a nurse practitioner or a doctor and they will do an initial assessment. Um, so after that assessment and they agree that you are eligible, um, there is a 10 day waiting period. So this is a 10 day reflection period um, that they want you to sit and think about it and make sure that this is what you actually want. Um, in some instances, it can be shortened, um, but that's something you would have to speak with the doctor or nurse practitioner about, and it's in very rare instances that that 10 days can actually be shortened. Um, so after after the, the 10 days, you then can make your request at any point. Um, so it can be immediately or it can even be a year later. It's all dependent on you and when you want the actual service, um, if you're feeling good, but you're palliative and know that that's what you want, you can have it set up. So then when your symptoms get bad enough where you're like, okay, I don't want to do this anymore, you can then have the nurse practitioner or doctor uh, perform the maid service. Um, so other than that, uh, the day of the maid, you would have to be able to uh, consent at that time and tell them that that is what you want. Um, and they will give you the medication through IV if that's what you have chosen, that's the method you chose instead of um, you taking it medication personally yourself by yourself um, so if it is with the nurse practitioner or doctor they will inject the medication into you um, and it, it's actually a very peaceful death because i get that question a lot so i don't want to leave this out um, you go to you go to sleep you get into a very deep sleep um, the the person is normally snoring um, and then they go into a comatose like state um, and it does eventually, their heart does stop um, because the uh, coma is such a deep, deep coma um, that their heart stops. And then uh, muscle relaxers are also given and that helps the uh, muscles of the heart stop also. Um, so once again, it is very peaceful. There is no pain associated um, with the MAID procedure and um, it's, it's one of the most peaceful deaths I have ever watched uh, or witnessed myself personally. I hope this video provided you with all the information you were looking for. And that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching.